If you'd like to set up repeats in MuseScore 4, first open the Repeats and Jumps palette. If you can't see this palette, you'll find it by clicking on the Add Palette option and pressing this Add button to move it to the main list. Now you simply select the bar where you want the repeat ending to occur, or you can select the desired bar line itself, and then select the appropriate repeat symbol to add it. I now want to specify that the repeat should begin on bar 2, so I'll add the appropriate repeat symbol here as well. Now if you press play, you'll see the playhead jumping back to bar 2 as it should do. You can switch on and off the playback of repeats by selecting this settings button and toggling the play repeats option. If you want to set volta brackets, often referred to as repeat endings, you can also find these in the repeats and jumps palette. Using these, I can specify which bars are played and excluded on each repeat. I'm going to place this first volta bracket before the repeat, meaning that these bars will be played the first time around. I'll now place a second volta bracket after the repeat marking. This means that the second time around, the playback will skip over the first volta bracket and jump straight to the second volta bracket instead. If you wish to extend a volta bracket, it's advisable to use the generic keyboard shortcut for extending a line holding shift and pressing the arrow key. Another useful element in the repeats and jumps palette is this repeat last bar symbol. By adding this symbol to a bar, it will repeat the previous bar during playback. Lastly, there are the senor and coda elements, which are also found in the repeats and jumps palette. Let's start with the senor element and add it to this bar. And then let's tell the player to go back to that senor marking later in the score by adding a Dal senor, or DS for short, element here. Now if we want to add a coda jump too, we can alter this setup. Let's first place our coda symbol on a bar near the end of the score. Next, let's delete that Dal senor element and replace it with the Dal senor al coda element. Lastly, let's add a two coda element here. Now the playback will follow the following logic. Once it reaches the Dal senor al coda element, it will jump back to the bar with the senor marking. From that point, it will play through again until it reaches the two coder marking, which tells it to jump to the bar marked with the coder symbol. If you liked this tutorial and want to learn more about MuseScore, be sure to subscribe to this channel.